show you how to make this mason jar cozy. Um, mason jars are very popular for having hot beverages, cold beverages. You can even use them to store your crochet hooks in if you want to. But anyway, it's also a Valentine theme, but hearts are kind of universal to uh, the year, so it's not just for Valentine's Day. But I thought today I would show you how to make this very easy mason jar cozy. We are using um, some number four weight yarn. You can find the four on any label. I've just picked up this one to, for demonstration purposes. I'm going to be using actually a hot pink in the um, video, but I just thought to show you what we're needing. It's number four weight, an H hook, which is a five millimeter. That's what I use for my cozies. And on a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for sewing in the ends. Okay. So to start, we are going to make um, a chain three and then, well, first of all, a slip knot. So I wrap it around my finger like this twice and I pinch it between those two. Yarn over, yarn over, and that's our slip knot. Okay, we can pull that tight. And now we are going to um, chain three. One, two, you can chain four if, it, if that's what you prefer, but I'm just chaining three. And then I go into the first stitch here and slip stitch. And I pinch that little bit there. And that's where I'm going to be making my double crochet. So chain two. And then we're going to double crochet 12 into this little space here. And I like to grab the tail and hold it at the side, but you don't have to, but that's what I prefer to do. And we'll kind of crochet the tail in as I go. So one double crochet, yarn over, put it through that little hole, two double crochets, yarn over and through that little hole, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, Yarn over, pull it through two. So that's three double crochets. You can always pinch to open up this little opening there that you're crocheting into. So that's three. Yarn over, hook into the hole there. Yarn over, pull the yarn through. Yarn over, through two. Yarn over, through two. So that's four. And five. and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. See how I mean? I'm just crocheting over the tail here, and eleven. and 12. And then we are going to find the top of our chain two here and we are going to put our needle through those two there, yarn over and slip stitch. That's just through there and through there and that's our first little circle. And we can pull on this and it tightens it up. It's not even a magic loop but it does that so that's kind of special. Just get myself some yarn here. And I got a nice hot pink that I'm working with today. Okay, so now we just start the easy, it's a very easy um, beginner friendly mason jar cozy. We chain up two and we are going to put two double crochets into each of our 12 stitches. So we'll end up with 24, okay? So I'm not going into that one, I'm just going into this first one here. One, two, into the same stitch, right? Now we're going to go into this stitch here. We're going to do two. Yarn over, one, two. Yarn over, 
one two so we've got one two three four five six yarn over seven eight yarn over nine ten yarn over eleven twelve yarn over thirteen fourteen yarn over fifteen sixteen Yarn over, 17, 18. Yarn over, 19, 20. You can hear my little dog in the background there. Yarn over, 21, 22. And then in our last little hole here, 23, 24. And then we're going to slip stitch into the one, two, third, there on the top. Slip stitch, and we have to chain two for our new row. So that is the base of the cozy that we have right there. And from now on, we are going to be doing um, ten double crochets, one in, one in. Um, no, sorry, one double crochet into each stitch around. So that will be 24 stitches, and that will be up until we get to row 10. Row 3 to 10, we're just going to double crochet all the way around. So you see that's the first round. This is the second round. So for the third round and up to the 10th round, we are going to just double crochet one stitch into each of our stitches, okay? Once again, we're not going to go into that one at the base. We are going to go into this one, okay? That's just the way I'm working this, this one. Okay, yarn over. So let's count our stitches. Always count your stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then we're going to go into the one, two, three chain, and we're going to slip stitch and join it. Next, we are going to chain two. Go up. So now we have one, two, three rows. We are going on to row number round number four. We like to call them rounds when we're crocheting in the round. So we're going to carry on like this until we've got ten rounds completed. And then I will meet you back here and tell you what we're going to do from there. So here we are. We finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. Of double crochet. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to find that one two third chain there and slip stitch them together 
chain one. This is a little different. For the top, because we want it to come in and cling to the top of the mason jar, um, I like to finish off with some single crochet. So we'll just be doing our single crochets. Here we go. So we're not going into that one below. We're going into the next one. And here we go. We don't put the yarn over for single crochet, remember? We just stick the hook in, yarn over, bring, pull the yarn up, and pull it through. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and then we chain, single, slip stitch rather, there we go, and chain one. And this is going to be our last row, okay? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and I'm not going to go into the 24th one. I'm going to do a slip stitch right into the top there just to pinch it a little bit tighter for that last row, just to make sure that it's going to cling on to that cozy. Now we grab our tapestry needle with a nice big eye. And we put our yarn through there. And we're going to weave in the ends. I like to go in the direction that I was crocheting just to try and get that little last piece tucked in. Okay. So there we have um, a mason jar cozy. Now, I've been asked to make these. The very first one I made was purely because someone asked me if I would make them one, and I had to figure it out how to do that. So it's pretty basic, um, but now you can slip it over your, your jar. And the idea is it's tight at the top, so it's going to take a little bit to get the first little part over. But once you've done that, there you go, it's on. I like to make them a little bit short because if people are using them for beverages, they don't want their mouth touching the yarn part of the cozy. So now if you want, and you can also use that for holding pencils, um, felt tips, your, uh, your, as I say, crochet hooks go in there beautifully, knitting needles. And um, people like to sometimes put a tea light inside and have it shine through the little holes. 
It can be used in all kinds of home decor uses. But today we are going to put a heart on it. And these are the little hearts that I've been making for Valentine's. So you just figure out where you want to put your heart. And I actually have um, a video on how to make these hearts. The, the, the mug cozies that I made, I have included how to make a heart. But I'm actually um, posting one that's just specifically on the heart so people can reference that. Okay, so just find my heart um, temp, um, applique heart video and I will have a small size and a chunky size in there so um, and then we need to make the heart and then we're going to sew it on okay so I'm just going to thread my needle here and we like it I like it here so I'm just going to count it so two single crochet rows and one full double crochet and I think right underneath that full double crochet row is where I'm going to put my heart so here we go there's the two single crochet rows and there's my full double crochet row so I'm going to hold my heart there and I'm just going to pinch it this is you can pin it if you like I, I'm sort of tend to wing it myself so we've got all of the nice little row exposed stitch there so um, I like to sew right directly into those stitches and that kind of hides conceals the fact that it's been sewn on come unthreaded I'm in an awkward position on camera to try and make this something that you can see. I would normally just be doing this on my lap. So let's make sure it's straight underneath that double crochet row. And here we go, down into the next stitch and then up through the next stitch. This is Caron Simply Soft. It's very silky down through that stitch, up through the next stitch, down and up. Down and up. And then I'm going down just come up there because we're at the pointy part and the little dip there. I'm going to go into that one and then up through this stitch here. Okay and now we're going on the downward journey. Okay so we go into this one and up through that one. Into that one. Up. Into that one. Up through that one. Hope this is all on camera. <laughs> Into that one up through that one just a simple running stitch here down and up through there and then i'm just going to go down my pointy bit and up through there and then i'm going to take it inside like this to weave it off and what I what I did with my um, mug co cozies is I kind of when I was weaving it in I pick up a little bit of the heart in the center and that sort of stops it gaping if you if you have this applique with a quite a bit of space in it it, it can get a little gappy so I just sort of when I'm doing my finishing off I put it through there just pick up a little bit of the thread don't go through so you can see it and then continue with weaving it in. Okay, 
and then I'm going to cut, cut that off. And there we go, we've got a nice little contrasting pink heart on our cozy. You can also put it on a jar that's like this, that's got straight edges. This is, um, I took this one out of my da daughter's um, laundry room. I needed some mason jars to do demonstrate, and I just really wanted to show you that you can use different, different jars with this. This is a bit of a wider one. It's wider at the top. See how that fits in? But it just shows the versatility of this cozy because you can fit it onto here and it just looks gorgeous, just the same, right? So there we have a pink one to contrast with the white one. You can see how they're a bit different. And uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And yes, I will, um, I'm going to do the heart ones right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna post them simultaneously so you can find my heart how to make the hearts. I don't think I need to do that on every single um, video that involves the heart, so I thought I will make a separate heart video and then you can just use that to, to make your hearts. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for Mason Jar Cozies and um, Caraway Crochet, we like to offer you whatever you want. So I'm here to serve you and if you have anything that you specifically would like to see, please comment below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so that you'll get notifications of when I post new videos. Thank you very much for joining me today and I hope to see you soon.